Go to your next level with a panel of experts that will be there um, to really give you the tools necessary for you to do what um, you want to do. Can you guys hear us now? I want to make sure you can hear us. They were saying they couldn't hear us. Oh, okay. So I want to make sure that you can hear us. So anyway, on that th on that Friday, we will focus on the ministry. Many of you are in ministry, so we'll have a panel of experts, whether they're from media, um, uh, branding, understanding your brand, the importance of your brand, how to get to that next level that you have wanted to get to. And so you'll be able to ask questions. It's going to be very interactive. It's going to be personal. So we, we intentionally um, did not, um, you know, set it for a whole lot of people because we wanted to make sure that you had individual attention. Um, from our experts so you can certainly register for that if you register premiere you can get one of those luncheons absolutely free it is uh, we can't even put a value on that because of the expertise um, that will be there um, to impart into you um, and so from the business sector from the ministry sector um, they will be there to uh, again to strengthen you and to give you the tools to take you to your next level so if you order uh, register premiere you get one of those along with our up and coming, our latest book, Sudden Breakthrough. And uh, we're really excited. Destiny Image um, has published that book for us. And, um, and, and I tell you, it's going to be a blessing to you. Um, so please, please register while you can because uh, timing is running out. We just only have a few more days before the suddenly. And then we're going to have to cut everything off because of, of course, timing and making sure we have everything that we need for everyone. Um, and so on that Saturday, the 5th, on Saturday, Saturday. Please mark your calendars. We will have a Caribbean beach barbecue where it's going to be a family reunion. So we all love family reunions. You eat and you laugh. You, you know, you know, um, talk to one another and just it's going to be amazing. So please, please register. Hey Amen. Listen, if you've just come on, please share. I think in the beginning we had some uh, challenges with making sure that you could hear us. Uh, but we're always trying to do something new and something more exciting. And uh, so please share. Thank you for sharing. And I'm excited. The registration has been amazing. And uh, P our friends have been calling us, telling us they're coming from literally all around the world. And so we're really excited about what God wants to do in your life. Uh, the, the title of the broadcast today is that your time of supernatural breakthrough is now. And, and I, I really believe 
believe that uh, there are times in the life of believers when they've been waiting on God, they've been, they've been trusting God, they've been knowing that God has the capacity and the ability to do anything but fail. And, uh, and, and sometimes when, when we're believing God, things just don't happen the way we anticipated they would happen. Right. But one thing that I'm certain of and I'm sure of is that the God that we serve is, as, uh, as the Word of God says, able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. And then there's another scripture in James which says that, uh, that, you know, that when we ask of God, we, we have to ask in faith, basically, I'm paraphrasing, uh, because a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways, and that let not that man think that he should receive anything from the Lord. And so we have to believe God, trust God, know that God is a God who can literally bring the breakthrough in your life. Uh, we did uh, a book, we, had a, we did a couple of chapters uh, in Sudden Breakthrough, uh, a couple of those chapters are dedicated to the subject of, uh, you know, and, and I'm excited because those, we have we all the pre-orders that were ordered, uh, all those copies are coming tomorrow, we'll be sending them out tomorrow night, so I'm really excited <laughs> about what God is doing with that. Uh, but I also realized that uh, as we put those chapters in there about catalyst to your suddenly season, catalyst to breakthrough, what are the things that you can do that produce breakthrough in your life? And we looked at our lives and we looked at the lives of those people that we've ministered to uh, over over time. And we uh, began to, 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 to categorize those things that we felt would bring breakthrough. For instance, uh, one of the things that we bring we think brings breakthrough is what Paul and Silas experienced in the Philippian jail. Their worship, their praise for God mm. produced an yes. atmosphere of a breakthrough. Yes. The Bible says as they begin to praise God and begin to uh, really tap into a place of worship, that literally breakthrough began to happen for them. And so, uh, you, you know, so when I think about that, I think about in your life, uh, when you're stressed, do you do you worry or do you worship? Those those are the questions you've got to ask yourself. Do I do I worry when I'm stressed or do I worship? And so you can determine when your breakthrough comes by by getting into a place and a posture and a position of worship. Instead of being in a, place, uh, in a position of worry, you know, I looked at a couple of other situations. Let's look at um, not just Paul and Silas, but look at them in the upper room. Another thing that can literally bring uh, another dimension of breakthrough is unity. When the, when believers are unified, when we come together on one accord, when they have one mind, one spirit, one heart, and the scripture even says this, where two of you shall have touch and agree concerning anything that you ask, you shall have the petitions that you ask for. And so if you would, if you would come, one, come on, uh, uh, come into agreement with the word of God, then number two, come into agreement uh, with not just the word of God, but other believers. And so when we come together, uh, then there's a, there's a stronger synergy in the spirit and power that happens. And so we've got to look at that. Number yes. one, are we in agreement with the word of God? Number mm -hmm. two, are we in unity with other believers playing, uh, praying together, right. believing God by faith together that what we're asking God to do, he's literally going to do it. Absolutely. And so you got to begin to, you got to begin to look at that. You got to begin to ask those kind of questions and you got to ask you got to ask yourself the hard questions am i believing god am i trusting god am i moving in the power of god mm -hmm. am i unified in my faith with the word of god do i believe it wholeheartedly mm -hmm. and then am i unified with other believers uh, and and you know one of the other things that i realize is this is sometimes because i believe the strongest prayer is the uh, is the prayer of two believers in covenant this is why marriages are attacked. This is why relationships are attacked. Mm -hmm. Because if the enemy can stop you from, from being on one accord, he can stop your prayers. Absolutely. The scripture even Absolutely. says that about marriage, that the yes. prayers are hindered when we're not on one accord. Absolutely. And so we got to make sure that we, that we find those people that we can be on one accord with, stand in agreement with the word of God concerning us, stand in agreement with, with the scriptures, then stand in agreement with each other, and we'll begin to see supernatural breakthrough. What do you think about that, Gloria? You know, absolutely. You, you know, I, r I really, really appreciate what you just said because um, many times we, of course, we're believing God for something, but we have to begin to understand that we have to partner with God that we have to do something as well. We're expecting God to do something, but we ourselves have to take part in the process. We cannot do, of course, what only God can do, but there are certain things that we partner in the process through that we can be able to 
um, you know, take part in that process, you know, in, in, in our worship, in worshiping and honoring God, instead of worrying about when is it going to happen, what time is going to happen, when, God, how are you going to do this? You know, I'm, I'm at the end of this this deadline, and, you know, please, God, help me. Oh, my God, I'm, I'm losing my mind. No, we get into that place of worship, that we are really, really worshiping God. We're honoring him. We know that God has it. There is absolutely nothing that God is not aware of, that he's not in control of, even when it seems like you're out of control. So it's your worship that takes you into that place. Your worship allows you then to begin to see things, not just through your eyes, but through the eyes of God. You begin to look at things a lot differently. You begin to not look just at the opposition, but now you're looking at the opportunity that God is going to use in this situation to manifest himself. You become so excited about what God is doing that you don't have time to look at what you see, but you look to the things that you don't see. Why? Because you walk by faith and not by sight. You know, even though it, it may not have appeared in the natural already, you know, by faith, it's already done. Why? Because God said so. And even that coming into agreement, coming together, you know, many times the enemy would try to come in and he would try to bring division. He would try to bring discord. He would try to bring offense, but you make a determination in your mind. I will not. I would devil you have no place in my life. I will not get divided. I will not be discouraged. I will not be offended. Glory to God, because I know, let me tell you what the promise of God on my life is greater than that. You have to know it's greater than the opposition It's greater than what you see and what you're dealing with. So don't allow the, anything that will hinder your momentum, that will hinder your suddenly, that will hinder your breakthrough. Because fear can do that. Absolutely. And doubt can do it. Yes. Tell me about a time in your life when you potentially allow fear to stop your breakthrough. You know, because of the thing that, you know, and I have openly shared my testimony, and I do that because I know that there are people that are dealing with some of the things that I've had to do to deal with, and that was fear. For most of my younger years growing up, I, I really dealt with a lot of fear, fear of failure, fear of just, I mean, all types of fear. But what I found is that fear silenced me, fear paralyzed me, fear caused me not to believe in who I was, it caused me even really not to trust in God fully because I was so afraid. I didn't think that I was worthy. I didn't think that nothing good would really come um, into my life. And so because of that, I, I really, my prayers were different. My confession was different. How I looked at myself was totally different. And certainly how I looked at God was different because I was so fearful. And so when God began to deal with me and began to take me to his word and show me who I really was and show me even who he was through his word and what he would do for me and how he would heal me and restore me and renew my mind. And, and so he, he began to let me know that my mind had to be renewed, had to be transformed. And so um, he taught me that process, how to transform my mind, how to get into the word, how to make confessions uh, uh, concerning my life and concerning my purpose. And so because of that, it allowed me to, to you know, the, the truth of the word set me free. The truth of, the, of God's word set me free, set my mind free. So I begin to look and, and begin to see things through the eyes of God and not based on, on my past, not based on what someone else had said about me. But no, as I begin to dig deep into the word, as I begin to look at how what God was doing and what he wanted to do in my life, you know, and, and so it really it, it freed me. It freed me. So I, I went from being fearful to being fearless. You know, and I, I really love that. I've been, uh, we've been trying to get my wife to do her women's conference uh, again. And yes, uh, <laughs> I am going to do it. I promise I am going to do it. You know, sometimes God will give you a vision and, and you know, you, you do that vision. You, you do that wholeheartedly. And then sometimes he'll interject something else. And so you have to do like a sidebar and do what he, you know, just, you know, what suddenly, suddenly it happened, you know, <laughs> so but we're gonna we're gonna do it. I promise. Yes. Yes. We yes. gotta get get back to uh, fearless because fearless was amazing. Women, yes. we just saw women really break free and really really get to their next level. And so I was really excited about that. So I'm excited about her doing that again. But uh, I I am. Somebody said I am there. Amen. Yes. 
And so people are going to come there, but they believe in you. They believe in your anointing, the grace on your life. And so I'm really excited about you doing that again. Amen. Can y'all tell I want her to do it again? Okay. Well, at any rate, really excited uh, about God really releasing the breakthrough in your life. So l let's go back over it again. Number one, be unified. Mm -hmm. Be unified with the word of God. Be unified with other believers. Pray in faith, believing that you're going to receive what you're going to receive. And we believe that we'll receive it. Number two, uh, worship is a catalyst for, uh, your, for, you know, for your suddenly season, for your breakthrough season. Uh, really, really getting into a place of worship. So worship, faith, unity, these are things that produce, these are catalysts for right. your suddenly season. Another one is giving, giving. sowing, because we've yes. seen God unlock suddenly seasons in our life because of our giving, because of our sowing. Uh, there are breakthroughs that come. Uh, you know, I'm not blessed because of what I receive. I'm blessed by what I give. Because it says, if I give, it shall be given unto me, yes. pressed down, shaken That's together, good. and running over shall men give into my bosom. And so there, there is an inherent, uh, you know, law of reciprocity that comes as we give, as we sow, as we, uh, as we bless other people. Right. Again, I'm not blessed because I'm, well, I'm blessed because I'm blessed, but I'm also blessed because we give, because, because we, we sow, give. and Absolutely. because we, because we impart to other people. Right. And so it's very important that we, we're, we're able to do that. I remember several times in our life where we've, we've made a declaration to sow. And God would return the seed that we sowed, I mean, just like, I, I mean, almost automatically, seven, yes. seven days, uh, 21 days, uh, 24 hours, you, you know, three days. And God just uh, supernaturally returns uh, the things that we release. And so I, I'm excited about this new season, just not just in our life, but in the life of, of God's people. Right. People that just first came out, we're going to pray in just a moment. And we're going to pray for, you know, for your faith to arise so that you can receive your supernatural breakthrough. Uh, we're going to pray for, um, for you to find other believers who would really really, really be on one accord with you. And then we're also going to pray uh, for any doubt that's in your life to be removed and be destroyed. And uh, But before we pray for that, can you tell them one more time about the mega suddenly and what we're doing uh, in just in just one week? Matter of fact, today is Wednesday, uh, tomorrow is Thursday, and so we're just eight days away eight from days. a new beginning. Eight is the number of new beginnings. You're eight days away from your new beginning. You're eight <laughs> days away from your super suddenly. You're eight, w eight days away from your mega suddenly. Tell us about that very quickly. And then we're going to pray for believers, I'm going to ask you to put some of your prayer petitions on the screen. I'm going to ask you to put up the areas where you've seen hinder your uh, your breakthrough, whether it was procrastination, whether it was fear, whether it was slowfulness, uh, whether it was not having other believers that you could pray with. Uh, whatever it is, I want we want to pray for that today, and we want to declare and we want to decree that God is literally going to break those things in your life. Amen? Amen. 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 Well, absolutely. We are, you know, go to our website, LajonAndValor.com, to register for the Global Mega Suddenly Conference. As you know, God gave us one word last year, and that was the word suddenly. Took us around the world. God began to manifest himself. Signs, wonders, and miracles begin to follow the word of God as we begin to see, um, you know, people being healed, uh, marriages being restored, breakthrough, breaking out, people finding jobs that had, had not even applied for the position. And so uh, checks in the mail, I mean, um, you know, bank accounts overflowing, just amazing, amazing testimonies. And so one of the things that God began to show us is that, um, you know, how as, as we begin to seek him, God was just pouring out his spirit, the promises of God. He said, I'm manifesting my word quickly, suddenly, immediately, straightway, without notice. And so we begin to see that. And so we're, we're bringing all of those different um locations, all of those people together um, to be a part of the global mega suddenly. If we say we're going to be global, then we've got to have some international people. And so we're expecting people from Australia, from the Philippines, from Trinidad. They're coming. They already have their ticket. And so we don't want people from, from other nations to beat us, you know, getting here. So please, please go ahead and register. And um, I tell you, it's going to be something that you've never, ever experienced before. But I tell you, I we guarantee you that it's going to bless you beyond measure. It's going to bless you not just during the weekend, but for years to come. Because what you're going to receive, the impartation that you're going to receive, of course, spiritually, but also, um, you know, you know, through through media, through all of these different, um, you know, experts that we would have here, you know, as well. And so it's going to bless your business. It's going to bless your ministry. It's going to bless your family. And so we you certainly want you to take part in that. So please register today.
Amen. Well, listen, we're going to pray. We're going to believe God for you to receive this to be the season that you receive the manifestation of the things that you've been praying for, the things that you've been believing God for, the things you've been trusting God for. Uh, those of you who are putting areas on the screen that you'd like to, that you, that you know for you uh, have been areas of hindrance and areas of challenge, uh, we'd love for, to pray for those. The uh, flyer is actually on the screen. I'm really excited about our, our media team and what they do to help us make things happen. For those of you that are watching via um, Periscope, it's not on your screen, but for those watching via Facebook, you'll see it on your screen. And so uh, really, really excited again about what God is doing and how he's doing it. And uh, we're going to pray. We're going to believe God for supernatural miracles to begin to happen in your life. We're going to believe God for supernatural breakthrough to happen in your life. We're going to believe God and trust God that God is getting ready to do something amazing. Amen. Somebody talks about debt, breaking generational curses, uh, areas of favor. These are things you want us to pray about. And we're going to pray. Amen. Uh, humility, obedience, debt cancellation. Uh, yes. Okay. We're still looking. I'm looking at the areas. Okay. New job and home. Believing God for a home. Amen. We want to, we want to believe God for that. Uh, yep. Praying for Tia. Yes, we will. Finances, instructions, and strategy. Okay. Uh, emotional fatigue and stagnation. Okay. Deliverance from, okay. All right. Unsound mind. Yes. We want to pray for that. Debt cancellation. Uh, cancel all debt. Okay. Humility. So, Father, we just thank you. We thank you for these, your people that are watching, uh, for every petition, every prayer request that they have. We pray now in the name of Jesus, God, that you're moving by your power, moving by your spirit. God, you're doing that which only you can do in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, uh, God, that your word, O Heavenly Father, says to us, God, that if we say unto the mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, and we should not doubt in our heart, but we believe the things that we, we say shall come to pass, then we'll have what we say. Father, your word also says that where two of us shall touch and agree concerning anything that we ask, then we'll have the petitions that we ask for. So we stand in agreement. We stand in agreement with your word. We trust your word. We know that your word is faithful. We know, God, that you have not lied. You will not lie. It's impossible for you to lie. And so we trust your word right now. We believe your word. We stand on your word, God. We have faith in your word that it shall not return void, but that it shall accomplish what, it, what you sent it to, God. We know that it's illegal for your word to return without having accomplished what you sent it to do. And so, Father, we stand on the authority that you've given us. We stand on the anointing that you've given us, on the purpose on the power on the strength that you've given us God and our declaration is that in this season of our life God you're going to move by your power like never before father we thank you Lord God that you are not a man that you should lie neither the son of a man that you should repent and God if you said it shall you not do it if you spoke it shall you not make it good so we stand and we believe you we trust you by faith we know God that that your word O oh heavenly father is 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 already settled in heaven we know that before one jot or one tittle of your word returns void God that heaven and earth will pass away and so we trust you. God, we know that you're faithful who promised, God. Your word declares that you're not a man that you should lie, neither the son of a man that you uh, should repent. And if you said it, shall you not do it? And if you spoke it, shall you not make it good? So, Father, we just trust you today. Our faith arises. God, we have faith for suddenlies. We have faith for breakthroughs. Father, we cancel out every enemy of our suddenly season, every, every enemy of our breakthrough season. God, we destroy the enemies and the ideologies and the thought process, God, that causes us to miss the things that you have for us. Father, our declaration is that in this season of our life, God, we will receive the manifestation of every promise, God, every decree, God, every prophetic word, everything, God, that you've ever spoken to us, God, we'll begin to see the manifestation thereof of it. And so, Father, we just bless you. We love you. We honor you. We magnify you. We know, God, again, that you are faithful who promised, God, there is not one promise that you've made, God, that will not come to pass because we know that you are a God who is faithful to his word. We know that you are a father who loves his children, who stands, oh, Heavenly Father, and you watch over your word to perform it. You have angels, God, who are oh, who are hearkening to the voice of your word. And so, Father, even today as we speak your word, we know that the angels of God are listening and hearkening to it. God, catching your word and beginning to move it, God, throughout the atmosphere, causing earth to come into alignment with your plan for our lives. God, causing, oh, Heavenly Father, the heavens to be open over our lives. Father, we thank you, Lord God, even now, God, that every person that has a petition, every financial need, every relational need, every uh, emotional need, God, every need that they have, every need for their ministry, for their jobs, for their employment. God, every person that received a no will receive a yes. Father, we thank you that things are moving in their favor. Father, even those that said that they were number two in line, God, you're causing number uh, the number the new number two person in line and the number three person in line, God, to now be the number one person in line. Yeah. And God says, hey, listen, you could be like David and you could be number eight in line, but when God's favor is on your life, it causes everybody else in the line to be disqualified. It causes everybody else in the line to be the person who 
does not receive the manifestation of the promise. But when the promise is on your life, it doesn't matter how many people are in front of you. God says, because I am with you and because I have illuminated you and because my anointing is on you, because my favor is on you, because you're a favor for magnet, because, uh, the, the, uh, oh, you're a favor magnet. You're a magnet for open doors. You're a, a magnet for open heavens. You're a magnet uh, for, for, for strength, for wisdom, for all the things that I've placed upon your life. And you're a magnet to receive the breakthrough in every area of your life. The job is already yours. Come on, the relationship is already yours. Come on, the finances are already yours. Everything that you've asked for, the ministry, your ministry is going to receive everything it needs. Today is a day of breakthrough. I'm telling you, even as supernatural deposits are hitting my accounts today, I declare that supernatural uh, deposits are hitting your accounts today. Amen. That, that, that hundreds and thousands, come on, and millions are coming into your, into, your into your bank account now in the name of Jesus. We declare that everything you need, everything you desire, everything you want, everything you've been asking God for, everything you've been trusting God for, everything you've been believing God for, everything that's on the petition, oh, everything that's on God's petition for you, everything that you've been believing and trusting him for, that God is literally moving on your behalf now like never before. We declare that every hindrance, every blockage, every obstacle, everything that stands in the way, we break its power and we declare that now is the season where God is getting ready to cause every obstacle, every blockage, everything that's been standing in the way to be broken by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. We declare that now is your season. Now is your time of breakthrough. Now is your time of increase. Now is the time for you that things that looked as if though they were held up are being released. Oh God, we pray now that every, every oh God, that every obstacle, every wall, oh God, every strategy of the enemy, oh God, you're giving us a strategy that out strategizes every enemy and every assignment of hell that we've had. Father, we thank you that your blessings and your favor and your increase, oh Heavenly Father, is upon your people now like never before. In Jesus' name, we do thank you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, I tell you, we come in agreement with the word of God. We stand by faith, in faith, through faith, in the name of Jesus. Come on, commit yourself to worship God today like never before. Ask God what is the worship that he's required of you today. Ask him, hallelujah. God, if there's any area in my life that's not pleasing, that will cause me to be separated from you, that will cause me to be hindered in any way in the name of Jesus. So, Father, we thank you now for release. We thank you even now for the open doors. We thank you for the debt cancellation. We thank you, God, for salvation of family members. And, God, that they're believing God for, believing God for their husband to be saved, for their wife, for their children to be saved, for their parents to be saved in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you that this is an hour and a moment for the, your supernatural power to manifest. God, what it seemed like was impossible. What it seemed like, God, it would just not break through. God, we thank you that suddenly, in the in the moment's time, glory to God, the phone call would come. When they received a no, they'll have to come back around and say, I know we said no before, but something has happened and we're saying yes. Come on, that's the God that you serve. He's a God of the turnaround. He's able to turn situations around. He's able to turn, my God, your circumstance in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He's doing something supernatural, what your mind can't even comprehend. The doctors won't even be able to explain it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You looked at your bank account this morning, but by this evening, by this time tomorrow, things are going to have going to have changed in the name. It's working together for your good. He's moving it in your favor. It's turning in your favor in the name of Jesus hallelujah whatever negative decision uh, and whatever negative um, thing that report that you receive God is able to turn it around he's able to remove some things and he's able to add some things that's the type God that you serve and so even now rejoice and be exceedingly glad because great is your reward amen Listen, I don't know who I was talking to in this camera. Somebody's watching right now, and um, and you were you were number two, you were number three. You're like David, you were number eight. Come on, uh, you're like Joseph. You're in prison, but I'm telling you, your season Jesus. for breakthrough is now. You you got to believe that. Come on, you were next on the on the chopping block for execution. You know you, you know you're like Peter. You they were holding you in prison, but God says no. I'm getting ready to set you free. I'm getting ready to release you. I'm getting ready to cause you uh, to to come into your inheritance. Come on, you're like Mephibosheth. You're you're in the place of no communication. Jesus. You're in the place. Come on, you like the woman with the, with the issue of blood. You've been suffering something for 12 years, but God said, no, this is your time and your season of breakthrough. Oh you, a, a, you're like the woman, amen, you're like Jairus who came to Jesus and you, you came to him believing God for your daughter to be set free. But for whatever reason, in this situation, it seems as if though uh, your child is already dead. Come on, you're like, uh, you're like Mary and Martha. You said, if you had come earlier, our brother would not have died. Oh God, but we serve the God.
God of the resurrection, if he could resurrect Lazarus' situation, if he could resurrect uh, when Jesus got there with Jairus' daughter, all of a sudden they said, why trouble the master anymore because the damsel is dead? But Jesus puts everybody out of the room except for the mother and the father, and he, say, he walks over to the damsel and he speaks to her. Listen, Jesus can speak to your dead situation and say, Talitha Kumi, which is damsel arise, yes. uh, young girl arise, young lady arise. He can look at your situation, ma'am, sir, uh, young man, young woman. He can look at your situation and he can say, come alive. Come, uh, he, can, he can say to it, arise. And he can command those things that were dead to be alive again. He can cause a life to come into your dead situation, your dead finances. Come on, your dead marriage, your dead ministry, your dead church. Come on, every, whatever it is that, you know, people say, you know, if the church is dead, that, you know, that you should leave. No, there are times when a church is dead. God, what God needs is he needs one prophet to come and prophesy to it. He needs somebody to come and prophesy to dead bones and cause them to live. Listen, if God had walked away from Israel when they were in the valley of dry bones, but what he did was he sent Ezekiel to the valley. He says to Ezekiel, he said, prophesy to the dry bones. And sometimes you got to look at your situation and you got to know that God is not done with it yet, that God is a God of covenant. God is a God who does not change. And God is a God who can speak to situations. John 6 and 63, Jesus says that the spirit, uh, he, he said that the words that I speak, they are spirit in their life. That goes back to Genesis chapter 1. I, but eight to ten times God said, let it be. And it was so. Come on. And it was good. And so you got to be able to speak life because you were created in the image of him who is and was and always will be. You were created in the image of him who speaks life. And when he speaks life to a situation, nothing can stop it. So you got to believe that. You got to trust that. You got to know that the God that we serve is a faithful God. He's a faithful father. He's a loving father. And he has the ability and giving you the power to speak life to a dead situation. Listen, just because the first day that you spoke life to it and it, and it didn't come back to pass. Come on. No. You know, it's like Jesus. When Jesus, uh, there was one man in the Bible and uh, Jesus spoke to him. He put, you know, he had, he had done something with his eyes and then and he, he didn't see clearly the first time. But the second time he saw clearly. And so sometimes it takes the, it takes the second time. Right. Sometimes it's not going to happen the first time. Right. Sometimes you got to keep going. Sometimes you got to be like Jesus. Or, or no, it was, I think it was Elijah on the mountain. And yeah. so God told him that the rain was coming. And so in, in, in the process of time, the first time he went, he didn't see anything. The second time he went, he didn't see anything. I don't know who I'm talking to today, but the third time he did not see anything and he didn't go. He didn't see anything the fourth time. And every time he went, he didn't see anything. But by the time he went the fifth time, the sixth time and the seventh time, all of a sudden, the Bible says that he said that his, his servant came back and he said, I see a cloud in the sky the size of a man's hand and so it may not be the first time that you that you that you, uh, that you that you you know you were believing God and you were trusting God and God gave you the word come on even for Joseph it was not the first year it wasn't the second year it wasn't the third year as a matter of fact things got worse before they got better it wasn't the fifth it wasn't the sixth it wasn't the uh, the seventh it wasn't the eighth it wasn't the ninth it wasn't the tenth year in the eleventh year he was made a promise and then it went further backwards amen he had to wait another two years but twelve years came and then 13 years and by 13 years God began to release to him what it was that he had promised to him that he was going to do and listen every prophetic promise everything that God has promised you it's going to come to pass don't you dare look back stop think that God is not faithful who promised think that God has an inability to fulfill his promise listen there is no money that's left the earth come on God is cre and they're creating money every day God knows where it is just like he told the disciples where the money was in the fish's mouth it's there for you come on there's only a lack of vision you you don't have a money problem. You got a vision problem. Come on. You don't have a relationship problem. You have a strategy problem. You don't have a growth problem. You got a vision problem and a strategy problem. And so you got to pray, God, give me strategy. Give me vision. Give me ideas. Come on. Give me a greater sense of obedience. Help me to go and fully uh, 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 fulfill the assignment and be obedient to what you've already told me to do. Because oftentimes the assignment that he's already given you, the strategies he's already given you uh, that you gave up on, you got to go back and pick it up again. Come on. Enrique Holmes has a new CD out. Uh, and on that CD, it said, I think it says, go back again. Yes. And so sometimes you got to go back again. You got to go back to the places that you received a no because you got you to try again. You got to go back one more time because you know that the God that we serve is a faithful God. And if he told you yes, it doesn't matter how many no's you get. The one yes you get because of your faithfulness and determination and stick to will literally cause you to receive the manifestation of everything you've been believing God for. You've got to trust God. You got to know that God is faithful. You 
cannot allow one no or two no's or three no's. Listen, listen, Abraham, listen. Let me go back to Abraham. Abraham had the Abrahamic uh, promise in, Abra in Genesis chapter 12. And so here it is, chapter 15, chapter 17. All these, these years have gone by. He did not see the manifestation of the things that God had promised him. But listen, 25 years went by before he saw the manifestation. But one thing you better believe, and he thought that it was going to be Eleazar. He said, God, he said, I don't even, he said, you know, I, 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 you, know I, you got gave me these promises. Says, but I, the one that's in my house is where my heir is going to come. He said, no, that's not where it's coming from. He said, you're going to have a son, and his name is going to be Isaac. And I know that sometimes your situation look like nothing is working, nothing is coming to pass, but I've come to encourage somebody today that your season of breakthrough is now, that everything that God promised you, everything he said, everything, he, everything you've been believing for, everything you've been trusting him for is coming to you now. You don't have to wait another second. You don't have to wait another minute. The God of the breakthrough is in the place now, and breakthrough is your portion in the name of Jesus. We come to stir your faith today. We came to stir your creativity, to stir the recesses of your mind, the DNA of your mind, and we prophesy to your mind that you'll believe God. We, 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 prophesy, we speak to your, to, to, to your heart, to your will, to your emotions, and we tell your emotions to be calm, amen, and to submit to the will of God concerning your life. You've got to know that the God that we serve is a God who is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that is working in us and the power that is working on us is Holy Spirit power. The power that's working in us is dunamis power. The power that's working in us is the power to call dead things back to life. Come on, to call dead wounds to life. It's what God did for Sarah. Sarah's wound was dead. Come on, uh, you look at Hannah. Hannah's wound was dead. Her enemies were laughing at her. But we can look throughout the synthesis of Scripture and we can see where God causes, causes live things to die. Come on, that's what he did for the tree when they passed by it. And he can also cause dead things to live. And so we have a God and we serve a God who is able to do, I keep saying it because I want somebody to get it, exceeding abundantly above all that you can ask or think according to the power that is working in you. Believe God today. Trust God today. Know that God is faithful today. And if he promised you, he's going to do it. You got to believe it. You got to know it. You got to trust him for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Um, and so if you would like to help sponsor someone, you can certainly do that as well. But again, thank you so much for standing with us, for praying with us, for supporting um, Lejean and myself as we continue to go forth and do all that God has called us to do. And um, so we stand together with you. We stand in agreement with the word of God concerning your life. Whatever it is you're believing God for, we're standing with you to see the manifestation of God's word come to pass in the name of Jesus. You, you are about to release a testimony. Amen. You are about to release, hallelujah, the glory of God that is that God is releasing upon your life even now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. So again, if you want more information about the conference, you want more information about some of the things that we're doing and going forth, you want to visit our shop. We have some amazing um, oils, oil of healing, oil of breakthrough, oil of consecration, oil of favor. They are there. We've got some bundles um, concerning that as well, but certainly go to our website, lejohnandvalora.com. Well, listen, we're getting out of here. Uh, we're going to see you guys really soon to get eight days, and we're, yes. it's going to be exciting. People are coming in. There's some people are coming in early. We got people coming in from uh, other nations that are coming in early, and so we're really, really, again, excited about what God is doing and uh, just the breakthrough that's coming. So we love you guys. We're going to talk to you again soon, and uh, God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye.